these are our Vertex pants. And I've got a couple of their bags. Uh, someone on uh, edcforums.com recommended trying these out as a low profile type of pant. Uh, I already mentioned the fact that I had to order them four inches longer than I, than I typically wear my pants because that was the only way to get my size. Uh, they came in, I tried them on to make sure they fit in the waist and I took them immediately to the tailor and I didn't put them on. I mean, I, I took them to the tailor with the stickers and everything, stall in the pant. I got them back from the tailor, checked the fit, everything seemed fine, took off the stickers and, and wore them for two days. So I haven't washed these. Uh, but I've worn them for two days and I put them in the dryer this morning on the steam refresh to get all the dog and cat hair and lint and stuff off because this material, which is 98% cotton and 2% lycra, and this material holds, and maybe it's just the, this color of gray, it attracts every manner of fuzz and hair and dust that you could comprehend. It's very annoying. And now we come to my biggest complaint with these pants which is this, like I said, I wore them two days, and this is distress on the exterior of the pant from wearing things in the pocket. So I'll show you, things rest at the bottom of the pant, right here, uh, and it's nothing crazy. I'll show you what I have in that pocket. I got my keys, got my flashlight, and I've got my pepper spray, and that's what goes into this pocket. Uh, there was a little bit of distress on the Hagger Cargo, which I wore several more times. I, I wore those for like two, three weeks. And there's no distress on the Carhartts, but these pants, which were the most expensive, it's, it's obvious. Uh, my daughter asked me if it was dog drool, it was so obvious, <laughs> uh, which was really quite distressing. Uh, let's get on to the rest of the features in these pants. Uh, we've also got some uh, distress on the exterior on the other side and all that's over there is a wallet and a multi-tool so that's that's pretty obnoxious um, on your main front pocket we have a reinforced edge which is nice and we've got the pocket knife cut out which is nice I, I like those features I like them a lot I, the pocket knife cut out uh, is pretty awesome not a lot of pants have it uh, and it's even reinforced here along the edge. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there is extra fabric here that you can feel when you run your hand over it. This whole edge has been reinforced and this one has, has more reinforcing uh, to help your pant stand up to having your pocket knife there. Uh, the cargo pant pocket is just a flap which lays flat like so. Uh, I'm not so keen on this seam, it's, it's a sewn in seam, it's not artificially made or anything like that. They, they deliberately made that seam there. Uh, I don't particularly like it. Uh, and so you re reach in and there is a magazine pocket that you can just drop your magazine into and, and that's it. The back of the pants. Uh, we've got the double belt loop in the back which we see a lot. We've got two rear pockets. Uh, and that's it, that's all that's going on back here. Uh, the belt loops are spaced at a good interval, I feel. We've also got a little tiny bit of stretch here in the waist, just above the front pockets. Uh, and as you can see here, for appendix carry or any centerline carry of knives or guns, not a whole lot of pop, uh, belt loops to get in your way, but there is enough belt loops to keep your pants from riding too far down. Coming around to the other side, we have the exact same thing, and we also have a mag holster in, in, in this cargo pocket as well. Uh, very subdued Vertex symbol here, their logo, uh, and I don't mind that. I, I wouldn't even mind if they'd done it in a mildly different color, like if they'd done it in black or a navy, to make it stand out a little bit, but since they did it in color in, in, in color match thread, I, I like that. And then the right hand pocket has a hidden zip security pocket, which is a pretty decent size. And the tab of the zipper 
went all the way down, hides underneath. You don't see it as long as you push it flat. Uh, so my other big problem, there are two big problems with this pan. Three. One, they, they're showing wear really, really quickly. Uh, two, there is no cell phone pocket. I have to stick it in my back pocket or in a cargo pocket, which I don't want to do. It's not convenient or easy to reach. And three, like I showed on, in the wearing portion of the video, these pockets are ridiculous. It's hard to get a good view of them because the here we'll just turn the pan inside out. These pockets are ridiculous. I have seen Christmas stockings smaller than these pockets. It's insane. Um, the pockets are not sewn down the whole way through, as you can see. And the, uh, the fabric isn't as sturdy as the Carhartt pant. So if we're looking at a scale here, we've got the Carhartt pant on the top of the sturdiness level, and then we go to the Vertec pant, and then we go to the Hagger pant. Uh, this cotton fabric that they used is a good weight. It's not as heavy as the, what the heck? Oh, that's, so, I noticed some exterior seams and I figured it was just because this hadn't been uh, pressed or anything. But if you look here on the inside of the pant, in the knee, you can actually see that they have sewn these seams in, which is, is pretty obnoxious now that I'm noticing it. I don't want extra seams in my pants. Let's take a look at those pant legs. Now that I found something else to bitch about. <laughs> yeah, so right here. I don't know if that is a manufacturing defect or what, but we've got seams sewn into one pant. No, it's in both. It's on both sides. Maybe it's a manufacturing defect on both sides, but that seems really silly. So yeah, uh, I don't like these pants at all. I have no idea if Vertec will let me return them because I have them hemmed. Um, I'm not happy about the wear. I'm not happy about these sewn-in seams. The pocket size is ridiculous. Um, the pocket size, like I said, might be a symptom of the fact that I had to order the pants four inches longer than I normally wear them because they didn't have them in my size. Uh, but we'll see. Overall, very disappointed in this pant, and it was the most expensive pair. Uh, as always, I'll put a link in uh, the comment or in the description for you guys to go and look at the product on the company's website. Let me know if you have any questions, and please like and subscribe. Thank you. are the uh, Vertex Original Cargo Pant. Um, these are not as heavy as the Carhartt Pant. They are heavier than the Hagger Cargo Pant. Um, I don't think these ones look as nice as the Hagger Pants. Uh, so the problem I had with these is I had to order them four inches longer than I normally wear. I wear a 34. I had to order these in a 38 because they didn't have any pants in my size and this was the next uh, closest thing. The only issue I have with that is that now these pockets are ridiculously huge. Like, they're, they're stupid huge and in order to actually reach the bottom of my pocket I have to bend over. See? Watch. Can't reach the pocket. There we go. Uh, we've got a hidden security pocket here which isn't as huge. If they had just done this pocket size, that would have been nice, but they, they didn't. Um, that's how these pants look. Uh, the cargo pocket has a mag holder in it, and it's just a flap sewn on. Again, for the rear pockets, no buttons, no flaps, no Velcro. So that's a feature I like. So like I said, these are the Vertex pants. And I'm not sure how accurate a representation this is, so I just want to let you guys know that I had to order these super long and then get them hemmed. So that may be why some of the things don't feel and fit the way I would hope they would.